Say no casino! Say no casino! Say no casino! Say no casino! All right. So we're here because we want to make it very clear that we're against building a casino targeting Chinese working people. We don't want billionaires like Steve Cohen to think he can get even richer by exploiting our Flushing community. We're telling our Flushing representatives to stand up for our community. We must protect Flushing from billionaires looking to turn our community into a playground for the rich. The casino plan is on public park land in Flushing Meadows Corona Park. That land belongs to all of us, so it should benefit all of us. Yeah! yeah. Not just the elites. So stick around for our amazing speakers in the Fed Up Coalition. Yeah. Our first speaker is Sarah from the Flushing Workers Center. Let's give it up for Sarah! We're happy to join today to speak out against how our community is being treated. Steve Cohen, who is already a billionaire, wants to make even more money off people. So he is tarnishing the reputation of the whole Chinese community, treating us like easy targets to take our hard-earned money. How shameful. The news is saying Chinese love gambling so much, Cohen is doing us a favor by building a backyard, a casino in our backyard. This is not about whether or not we like to gamble. It is about whether or not we sit silent uh, and let someone come in and get more people hooked on gambling, destroy families, and bring only more problems to Flushing. The news has been saying the only people who oppose this want a parking lot instead. How absurd. We too want development and have been fighting for development that benefits our community. If Cohen does not need the parking lot for the Mets, it should be returned to the city so we could enjoy it as a park. We want a park, we want affordable housing, schools and small businesses to be developed on Willits Point. We want Flushing to be protected by our Flushing Community Special District Plan. Jobs and small businesses should be protected uh, instead of bringing in a casino that may offer some jobs while destroying many more. We call on everyone to join us. Contact the Flushing Worker Center to protect our families and our communities. We also want to know where our elected, uh, elected representatives stand on this. We have many Chinese and Asian electeds. Do you think it is okay for our government to be helping a billionaire take our community's hard-earned money and profit from ruining people's lives? Do you support a casino in our community? Or do you support protecting our homes, our small businesses, and our jobs? We want to hear from you. Yeah. Yeah. Up next, we have Julia Gu, a home care attendant and member of the N24 Hour Workday Campaign. Yeah. My name is Julia Gu. I'm a retired home attendant. Today, I represent home care workers, sisters, and workers of Flushing to strongly oppose billionaire Steve Cohen's casino plan near our Asian community in Flushing. The rent and real estate tax in Flushing have been very high. Whether we live, work, or do small business here, it has become more and more unaffordable for all of us. To make matters worse, Cohen wants to use the casino to take away more of our blood and sweat money, making it more difficult for us to pay rent, making us broke, destroying our families, and forcing us to leave our community. He particularly prey on us Asians, spending so much to advertise on Asian media, claiming we all agree with his plan. Do we really agree with his casino plan? No! Over a century ago, the European and American colonizers forcefully sold us opium and then slandered Asian as opium addicts. Today, Cohen targets Asian with a casino and then portrays Asians as gamblers. Isn't this the same kind of exploitation? The same kind of racism? We refuse to accept this humiliation. We demand Cohen's stop this racist casino plan. And we call on elected officials to stand up and truly represent our community. Don't let Cohen destroy Flushing. Okay. Yeah. Powerful. Say no casino. Say no casino. Say no casino. Thank you, Julia.
Up next, we have Rebecca from the Guardians of Flushing Bay. Oh, sorry. 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 Hi, good morning. My name is Rebecca Pryor. I'm the executive director with the Guardians of Flushing Bay. We're a local nonprofit advocating and organizing for an environmentally just, equitably accessible, and healthy Flushing Bay and Flushing Creek. The project that we're out here talking about today sits in the middle of the historic Flushing Bay wetland. It is in the Flushing Bay watershed, and it is in a floodplain. The project constitutes a 140-acre redevelopment project spanning from the Special Flushing Waterfront District in downtown Flushing, to the Special Willits Point District in Willits Point, to the proposed City Field Casino. The proposed City Field Casino is an environmental injustice. It is a 50-acre public parkland land grab for the commercialization of a casino project that will only benefit the pocket of a billionaire. It is situated in the middle of multiple communities of color who are low and middle income, experience flooding on a regular basis, and have high levels of air pollution. Our communities deserve better. Our neighbors experience flooding in their homes during Hurricane Ida. Our waterways receive over 2 billion gallons of raw sewage every single year. Neighborhoods from uh, Flushing to Corona to East Elmhurst are in the 95th percentile for air toxicity and traffic proximity in the nation. This is not the time for a backroom deal casino project that takes away public parkland forever. No casino. Our communities deserve neighborhood projects that prioritize flood resiliency, that are transparently planned, that are community generated, that absorb rainfall, that absorb carbon, and that prioritize environmental justice communities rather than preying upon them. Yeah. Yeah. Guardians of Flushing Bay is here today to call upon the local environmental um, and community-based nonprofits. We are here to call upon New York City parkland advocates and environmental justice advocates. And we are here to call upon our local, local elected officials to, to stand with us and say no casino license, no parkland alienation, and we deserve an environmentally just and socially just future for Flushing and for Queens. Thank you. No casino. No casino. No casino. Awesome. All right. Up next, we have Joseph from the anti sorry, from the Flushing Anti Displacement Alliance. Hi, good morning. My name is Joseph and I'm with the Flushing Anti-Displacement Alliance. We're here today to say no to this attempt to rob public land for a casino. Time and again, folks like billionaire Steve Cohen and other members of the elite, including luxury developers, corrupt politicians, and even opportunistic nonprofits, have openly shown us that they do not respect working people. These past two months, we have seen disgusting and racist news coverage about how they want to, quote, cash in on Asian people and their, quote, love for gambling. Ooh. They should be ashamed of themselves, yes. ashamed for their little regard for our community and for the brazen dishonesty about that this project is being proposed for our benefit. Gambling addiction should not be a market to profit from. It is a dangerous and destructive social problem that financially ruins people, breaks apart families, and destabilizes whole communities. If the city no longer wants to lease the parking lots to the Mets, we demand that the land be given back to the community. Public land for public use. Yeah. We don't want a casino, and we don't want 140 acres of luxury developments at our doorstep. We want development for us, the people who call Flushing home. That's why FADA and the Federal Coalition are fighting for the Flushing Community Special District Plan, which advances the vision for economic development with the people of Flushing at heart. The plan will, one, mandate majority affordable housing in all new residential developments. Two, 
protect small businesses from big box stores and new hotel projects. Three, preserve and create more jobs in our manufacturing districts. And four, improve our green spaces for public use. We must and will stop the 20 plus year project to displace Flushing's working families through unrestricted luxury development. Projects like this casino bid only further demonstrate the disdain that the elite have for us. They have spent upwards of a million dollars to lobby our elected officials and to buy their support for a project that will hurt our community. This must end, and we as the Flushing community have to come together and advance the future that we deserve. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Up next, we have John from the Flushing Chamber of Commerce. Woo! John! Good morning. Good morning. My name is John Cho. I'm with the Greater Flushing Chamber of Commerce. I am here with a coalition standing up for our community. We say no to the casino. No, no. to the casino. Governor Hochul is pushing to end the sale of menthol cigarettes because we all know big tobacco is targeting African Americans and Latinos. But when it comes to another predatory industry like casinos targeting our community here in Flushing, no one bats an eye. Yeah. That is disgusting and irresponsible on the part of city government and state governments. Governor Horkel and the owner of the Mets will argue that casinos and stadiums are good for us and are good for economic development. Ooh. We say BS, we say bullshit. <laughs> Just look at City Field. Do you see any local businesses in the stadium? No. Do any of our local businesses get any benefits from having City Field here? No. no. We are sick and tired of the lies and empty promises. We want real economic development. We don't want to end up like Atlantic City, a cesspool of violence and crime that displaces small businesses and puts local residents in dead-end jobs. We want change. We want real jobs. We want real opportunities for our small businesses. Thank you very much. Yeah. No casino. No, no casino. casino. Up next, we have Maggie of the Guardians of Flushing Bay and Jackson Heights resident. Yeah. Thanks everyone, I'm Maggie Flanagan, one of the Guardians of Flushing Bay and a Jackson Heights resident. And I came here to Flushing today because our Queens communities are united in opposition to this casino proposal. Yeah. Yeah. We are also united by other threats that include rising waters in the waters right around City Field and in our communities. You all remember Hurricane Ida, that's such a tragedy. Not only the storm coming ashore, but the rain causing flood waters in our homes. We are all united that this casino project does nothing to help protect us from climate change, an urgent, urgent threat to our neighborhoods. Of course it's a parking lot. Public parking in public parks is a normal thing in Queens. What can make this parking lot better is to fill it with green infrastructure yeah. and natural restoration yeah. that will help our communities. Line every walkway with trees, plant bioswales, which line the actual parking spaces with local plants that help wildlife change that asphalt into permeable pavement that will help uh, absorb rainwater in our communities and pre prevent flooding. The kind of green we want to see by City Field is this green infrastructure and natural restoration. What we don't need is our hard-earned green dollars being lost to casino profit. Yeah. Thank you, Maggie. Last but not least, we have Jean, president of the Flushing Meadows Corona Park Conservancy. Woo! Yeah! Good day, everybody. You got my name, you know who I am. Now I'm going to tell you all about the park. The park, for the last several hundred years, I think, has been under environment. Uh, needs 
the latest person who's trying to take over and just make another dollar out of our pocket is Steve Cohen. I like the gentleman. I met him. He's very nice. And I love the Mets. But what he's doing to Flushing Medical on the Park is totally outrageous. This is the fifth time in 20 years I've been involved with somebody trying to take over the park and make a dollar. Not even a penny comes into the park. Never mind to the park. It doesn't even go into the city of New York. Most of the funds go everywhere else but here in Queens, where we need it desperately. We've, yeah. The Parks Department has been cut back $46 million this past surgery, this past budget, just this year alone. We are the lowest amount of, get the lowest amount of money of any city agency is for the parks. And Flushing Meadow List is on the bottom of that list because we don't even have a budget. Because every time we would ask for one, oh, we'll get it to you later. It's 20 years, I still haven't seen it. But what I want to say to all of you is that I never mind represent Flushing Meadow Corona Park. I also represent the Alliance for Flushing Meadow Park. You probably know about that. I happen to be the chair of the Community Advisory Council. Please go to the websites, learn about who is in there to help you out. We have to stay together because staying together is being together. The last thing I want to say is real easy. Mr. Cohen wants to alienate the park for his benefit. The only person that has to be alienated is Steve Cohen. Yeah. Yeah. Public yeah. parks are for the people. Public parks are for the people. Public parks are for the people. Public parks are for the people. All right, I say no casino. You say protect flushing. No casino. Protect flushing. No casino. Protect flushing. No casino. Protect flushing. The casino will destroy more jobs than it creates. It is racist, it enriches the rich, and it will worsen the placement we already see in the community. The Special Flushing Waterfront District, Special Willits Point District, and City Field Casino Plan slated 140 acres of land right next to downtown Flushing for luxury development. The casino is just the latest stage of decades of displacement and inequity in our community. Ooh. Flushing deserves better. Woo. Yeah. yeah. That's why we are calling our Flushing representatives to publicly oppose the casino. Woo. Yeah. Tell them to not let billionaires destroy Flushing. They can't get away with it. Yeah. We have call scripts translated in multiple languages. Be sure to grab them before you leave. We also urge everybody to talk with family members, neighbors, your church if you're part of one, community groups, friends, to join the effort to stop the casino. Yeah. 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 No casino. No casino. No, no casino. No. Our, no. our speakers will stick around to talk. Thank you, everybody. Yeah.